Hello my lovelies, or since I'm ter learning Turkish uh, recently, Merhaba, uh, Naver. Um, for those of you that know me, hello, nice to see you again. For those that don't know me, I'm a fun-loving um, and lucky loving Sagittarius with uh, a soft spot for Turkish TV drama and uh, reality TV. No same in my game. Uh, so after my first video, which was about uh, 10 steps to becoming a startup expert, and I will link somewhere below in case you haven't watched it. In case you haven't watched it, go watch it, learn, be awesome. Um, so I got a lot of requests after that video about uh, addressing a major burning first world problem. And that problem is how to be social at work with minimal effort and, of course, minimal communication. Now, open office plans and co-working spaces have brought us closer together, but uh, maybe a little too close. So how can you be Mr. or Ms. Popular and a hermit? Can you do it? Can you be both at the same time? Absolutely you can. That's why I'm here. I got your back. I got you and we can make this happen together. So listen up. Let's start by examining together a very common uh, scenario at your workspace. You just made your coffee. You put on your leave me the fuck alone red headphones and uh, you're just ready to dive in your inbox and do some front crawl in that sea of unread emails. Uh, it sounds perfect, right? And we all know that this little thing just lets you um, eliminate uh, any interaction. What's, what's the issue here? The issue is that um, it eliminates interactions, but the minute you put your headphones down, interactions are right there, full force coming at you. Uh, we've all been there, you have that friendly, friendly person in the office or somebody you know, you say hi because you don't want to be an asshole, or they just come up to you and they say hi, so you put down your headphones, and then what uh, you wish for that it would be a, a one minute small talk, it just goes on and on, and on until that calm sea of emails becomes a dark, scary abyss, just ready to swallow you up as soon as you get back to work. So what do you need to do here? It's pull a little trick that I call the DJ. Have you noticed DJs at a club? They're always cool with their headphones, they're su always super busy, but also super social. Uh, the trick here is that the DJ never takes off um, his or her head headphones completely. They just pull just one side in the back, and this is how they interact with people. And this is what you need to do, because what this signals to the other human beings is that uh, you're available, but for a limited time and only the essential interactions. So next time you see somebody, don't put down your headphones, just pull back one side of the headphones as if you're about to take a request for a song and say hi. They won't hang around for long. Congrats, you can go back to work, put back your headphones fully on and enjoy the peace and quiet. <laughs> Uh, little social challenges don't limit themselves in your physical workspace they just neatly flow over to your uh, digital workspace so you know we all want to be nice on email as well reply to everyone even to people that email us so to can go out for coffee so they can pick our brains it just sounds like a very bad idea and a dangerous uh, medical experiment like stop emailing this to people Ew sounds weird um, but anyway you want to be that person but you know it can get overwhelming these emails just pile up so quickly and we all know that one person that uh, will reply back within five minutes even though it took you 15 days to get back to them so how can you deal with such a responsive efficient nice human being hmm you have to be a little 
a little, a little manipulative and sneaky here. But don't worry, not all is fair in love, war or an emailing, so don't feel bad about it. Here's what we got to do. The only way to deal with them is really to be equally responsive. As soon as they email you, you have to email straight back, but not in writing. What you need to do is record your answer, attach it as an audio file to your reply and send it over. If they ask you why you keep doing it, it's so annoying, you will say, I feel so bad that you are always so responsive and it takes me forever to get back to you. So I just wanted to be uh, on top of that. And you have to do it for everything. Even if your uh, reply is okay, uh, let's do this. You have to record it, attach it, send it. Trust and believe my friends, after three to four uh, audio files later, the rate of their emailing will drop like Uber's valuation. Congrats, you're free and you're also a nice person. The next hack I'm gonna share with you is um, say it with an emoji. Uh, we all know emojis and GIFs have been life-saving um, because even if you don't know what to reply to a chat, if you're bored to type, you can just find a great GIF uh, with a cute pet and, and comment like that and boom, it's worth a thousand words. Uh, but why not do that in your real life as well? You can be, for instance, stuck in an elevator with a colleague and as they go on and on and on about morning commute, all you have to say is omiji, crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji. There you go, you were sympathetic to another human being and you barely spoke 10 words. Um, another scenario, let's say you are uh, in a meeting and somebody is pitching some idea and your mind was on your uh, supermarket shopping list or what you're going to have for dinner. Um, how you can respond um, is that you can just shake your head very thoughtfully and then say mind blown emoji. Now, is that good? Is that bad? The other people in the room will interpret it depending on their own point of view and everybody will be happy. There you go, congratulations. You had just participated in a meeting and you weren't even attending. My next uh, tip for you has a certain level of uh, difficulty because I know not everybody in your office is well dressed and for a lot of people a good hair day means that after 20 days straight of dry shampoo I finally wash my hair but even so once in a blue moon they will do something right and you need to grab that opportunity and compliment and dab in it. Oh my god great sneakers where did you get them? As soon as they start going on and on and on about how they were looking for that kind of sneakers for sure longer or how they were looking for something else and then they end up buying these sneakers, you say, oh my God, I need to run to a meeting, but make sure to email me uh, the link where you got them. Like, they look amazing. Just keep it up. You just look so refreshed. Uh, and that's it. They will remember it. And in their mind, you're a person uh, who has a great taste. The trick here is to dab on time so they will only know that you have a great taste and they will never know that you have very bad listening skills. My last but not least uh, tip for you is to make sure that you maintain uh, that social status. Social status like men's ego is very fragile so you really need to take good care of it. Um, nobody's perfect, not even you, and we've all been there. We skipped a few birthday brunches because they were south of the river. Uh, you skipped some living drinks because it was too cold. How can you make sure that they won't remember all these little, little mistakes, but they will only remember the good uh, vibes that you gave them? them. Um, the trick here is to do a random act of greatness. 
My go-to move is a box of donuts. Um, another good alternative, I think, is uh, some peaches at lunchtime. Who doesn't love pizza? Um, and if they don't love pizza, you're at the wrong workspace. You have to move out. So what you need to do is once in a while, completely randomly, like out of the blue, just say, oh my God, guys, just walk in with a box of donuts and say, hey guys, I just bought this uh, donuts for us because it's so gloomy today. And I thought, you know, just uh, make us um, a great Monday, a great start to the week. Everybody will love you and remember you for this. Breaking the office routine for no reason at all. I mean, if that's not worth eternal love and devotion, I don't know what is. And that's it. So easy. Uh, congrats. Enjoy your office glory. It's well deserved. Uh, and make sure to subscribe, like, and let me know what other challenges can we tackle together. Remember, no problem is too small or too big. We can make this happen. Just let me know and problem will be solved.